Let's get real for a second. Do the words web analytics still make you cringe and want to run for the door? Well, you're not alone. Analytics can be intimidating and take some patience to learn, but they are the backbone to everything you do online. So let me simplify it for you. Let's say you own a restaurant. It looks good, the food's delicious, your customer service is unbeatable, but you forget to pay attention to your customer's actual behavior. Maybe they buy more food when they sit at a red table, or maybe they order more hamburgers on Wednesdays. Either way, paying attention to these subtle insights can be what makes or breaks your business, and it works the same online. Let's start with the basics. Web analytics is the measurement, collection, and analysis of data to help you improve the effectiveness of what you do online. Analytics can help answer the most basic questions about your visitor's behavior, such as, where are they coming from? What pages do they visit on your site? Are they actually buying your product or getting distracted by something else along the way? The options of trackable behaviors are truly endless, but let's not jump ahead of ourselves. If you're new to the world of analytics, here are four key metrics you should keep track of before anything else. The four key metrics are total traffic, source of traffic, bounce rate, and conversion rate. Total traffic is probably the most self-explanatory. It's obviously the total number of people that visit your site in a given amount of time, such as a day, week, or year. Your total traffic can be a strong indicator as to what you're doing right or wrong. While some factors, such as the time of year, for example, are out of your control, there are things you can do to boost that traffic on your own like simply posting on your blog or amping up your marketing game. Then we have source of traffic. At a restaurant, customers can arrive by bike, foot, car, unicycle, even hang glider. And on a website, customers can arrive by social media, blogs, Google searches, referral websites, and a myriad of other options. The point is, you want to figure out how people are finding your site so you can create a strategy for your content moving forward. If you find that most of your audience comes from social media accounts, use that knowledge to boost your efforts on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever your audience is most likely to stem from. Our third important metric is bounce rate. Now, imagine a customer who walks through the front door of a restaurant, takes a quick glance around, and walks back out. We've all done this when we're starving and trying to find the perfect place to eat. And the thing is, we do it to businesses online, too. A bounce is when a visitor leaves before clicking on another page within your site. The higher the bounce rate, the worse off you are. If your bounce rate is 80%, for example, that means four out of every five people that come to your site don't care to stay long. That's not good. But why is that? Well, it could be any number of reasons, including irrelevant content, a confusing navigation, or annoying sounds and images. As a rule of thumb, shoot for a bounce rate that's lower than 50%. But of course, do everything you can to keep it as low as possible. And as for conversion rate, when it comes to the web, a conversion counts as any call to action a customer completes that fulfills the purpose of your site. In a restaurant, a conversion would be actually buying grub and not walking out hungry. For a website, a conversion could be signing up for a newsletter or buying your product. The conversion rate is tracked as a percentage of your traffic, and the higher it is, the better off you are. All right, so we know that total traffic, traffic sources, bounce rate, and conversion rate are great insights into the health of your website. But how do you even track them, right? There's a variety of web analytic platforms to choose from, but the most popular by far is Google Analytics. Just visit google.com analytics to get started. It's free, super easy to set up, and easy to navigate and customize. Now see, that wasn't so bad, was it? Web analytics are the secret to a successful website, and now you know the basics. At Bluehost, we're full of tips and tricks to help make your website thrive. To learn more about what else you can do to boost your business, check out our blog at bluehost.com blog. We'll see you there.